and did not lie in that case. You just have amnesia. I did not lie in that case. There was a written plea agreement with the entire agreement of the parties. If you believe that, you believe Elvis is alive and running a small bait stand on Lake Erie. Shame on you. You have a history of lying to your professional colleagues, don't you? That's not true, Senator. This is what Mr. Shankman said, talking about your lying. He said, it is unfortunate that this is not the first, second, third, or whatever occasion that this sort of thing has occurred. But everyone should be aware of this unfortunate pattern of behavior. You should be aware, he said to the other lawyer, before the other lawyer dealt with you. Your client should be aware, and you should proceed with extreme caution. Was Mr. Shankman lying? Uh, to the degree he suggested that I acted unethically, that was not accurate, and it wasn't in any occasion, much less on num numerous occasions. A few seconds ago, you lied to Senator Hawley, didn't you? I, I, I'm under oath, Senator. I did not lie. You said you have no knowledge of any complaint, professional complaint made against you, didn't you? I said I have no knowledge of any sort of formal complaint, and he read from a letter that I don't believe I ever saw. And if you were shocked. That, if, you if, never heard of that before. If there were a formal complaint, that, as I said, I had not known about that. Okay. You were amazed. I don't recall any, any of that. Any? I, I, I recall this Mr. You Weber's case. You have amnesia case. about it. Again, I, I am unaware of any formal complaint or investigation. Certainly was not. You believe in the tooth fairy? Senator, I don't. You believe I, in the Easter Bunny? Now, in this case, United States v. Von Rico Weber, you lied to the defense counsel. The defense counsel then had to go before the court and withdraw a plea for his counsel. And a complaint was filed about which you apparently have amnesia. And the Justice Department replaced you. And the lawyer from the Justice Department who replaced you, this is what the, the, the lawyer said. This, the new law, attorney said about you. So these allegations against Mr. Ritz are, quote, serious and it is taken so seriously, referring to the Department of Justice, by our office, that is one of the reasons I'm here, and Mr. Ritz will be more than likely be taken off this case because of those allegations. End quote. You lied to Senator Hawley, didn't you? I didn't lie to the defense counsel in that case. I didn't lie today, Senator. My good friend, Senator Ossoff, asked you if you'd follow the law, and you said, yeah. But if you're lying to us today... We're stuck with you, aren't we? Senator, I have not lied and did not lie in that case. You just have amnesia. I did not lie in that case. There was a written plea agreement with the entire agreement of the parties. If you believe that, you believe Elvis is alive and running a small bait stand on Lake Erie. Shame on you. When you were sworn in as U.S. attorney, you gave a speech, didn't you? I did. Here's what you said. I'm going to quote from your mm -hmm. speech. But you should know that justice for me is about more than putting people in prison. For me, it's also about who votes and how hard it is to cast that vote. It's about where pipelines go. It's about where bus routes go. Justice is about whether people in all zip codes can get along. Sometimes those are Department of Justice issues. Sometimes they are not, but for me, they're all justice issues. Did I read that accurately? I, I believe so, Senator.